Hello everyone, this is a part 2 video based on the PDF automation tutorial. This time it's through Google Drive. The first step is to create the bot that generates the PDF file. From here you can add the bot that's required. Let's give this bot a name. And now let's configure the workflow. Name your event as you like. Here you can set according to your liking. I'm leaving it to all changes. Next, we need to add the steps, which is based on our desired table and any condition that you prefer. For now, I'm just leaving it empty. Proceed adding a step. This is the part where the bot will execute something for us, which in this case, we want it to generate PDF files. Now let's configure it based on the available options. I'll be selecting create a new file and set the format as required. Don't forget to create the template. You can design your own template later on by clicking view for this part i'm leaving the folder path to empty for default location later i'll be showing on how to make a custom path file name prefix is basically your file name when it's being generated i'm changing to something more unique which in my case, I'll be using the value from column unit ID. I am disabling the timestamp so that it will replace the existing PDF to a newer one respectively. There are some settings you can use to format the generated PDF files. Well, I'm leaving that to default for now. Once done, save the app. Now let's trigger the workflow by making an update to the app. Let's have a look at our Google Drive at the same time. My default location is based on the app name. As you can see, there's only two folders as shown on screen. Now let's make an update. Once updated, let's look at our G drive. Update success and a new folder called files is created. And a file path with UID PDF is generated. You can customize the format of your PDF to any design you like. So now you want to open the PDF file directly from the app, yes? To do that, we'll need to recall the file destination plus file name .pdf. Let's start by adding a virtual column. Name the column and add the following expression or formula. Concatenate file destination file name prefix dot pdf in my case will be the following i will include this in the comment section down below the file destination is based on where the file has been generated
since mine is generated in the files folder and the files folder is in data employee data app folder I just need to follow that path in order I'll be copying the main app file name which the parent folder is data Hence, why mine would be as follows. Save the app. and change the virtual column type to file. Save the app again. And once you click the file name, it will immediately access the PDF file directly from the app. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial, subscribe and like if this helps. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care everyone, bye bye.